Well, January is National Blood Donor Awareness Month, but ironically, Vitalin says the number of donations has gone down. Big Two's Jian Kim was at a blood drive today and has more on what's preventing people from heading to these drives. Jian? Well, Caleb, Erica Gonzalez from Vitalant says it's quite normal to see donation numbers drop during the holidays and into the new year. But the number of people needing these donations aren't dropping, making this slowdown a problem. I mean, overall, just it's hard to get people in. Blood banks are struggling to fill up bags for those in critical need of blood transfusions. People are just out of town and they're doing their own thing, vacations and whatnot. Gonzalez says December and January are the slowest months, but more people are in need of transfusions than ever. Midland, Odessa areas, Permian Basin overall, there's wrecks going on all the time happening. You see it on I-20 highways. It's, it's very, we need it badly. Gonzalez says just one pint can save three lives, and she's seen it firsthand. A lot of people won't come in and donate until it's their family member in that situation where they need that blood and they need it as soon as possible in order to save their lives. No, this is my first time. I'm kind of excited. First time donor Amanda Fry says the process was very quick, very easy, in and out. While there are many reasons people stay away from the banks, donors say it's just an excuse. And then people that need the blood. You know, they don't have an excuse. They don't have a choice. They need it. You got your military out there. You got your homeless guys. You got people out in the hospitals that need blood. Their lives saved. Gonzalez says today's drive was the third one this year. And while the turnout has been promising, there's no telling when numbers and donations will dip again. She encourages all residents to donate by checking the website for the date and location of their next drive. Live in studio, I'm Jian Kim, Big 2 News.